Music City San Francisco is one of the largest music communities here in Northern California dedicated to supporting artists and music enthusiasts. Here to tell us more about their latest partnership and how it's providing even more resources to the music community is the founder of Music City San Francisco and Universal Recording Artist Rudy, Rudy Colombini and two-time Grammy award-winning Living Color member Will Calhoun. Rudy, Will, thank you so much for joining me here on Live in the Bay. I'm in the presence of royalty right now. I mean, honestly. Thank you. It's great to be here. It's Thanks great, for great to be us. here. Thank you for Thank having you. us both yes. on again. Yes, absolutely. Right? We have to dive into Music City and what it's all about. So, Rudy, I'm going to start with you. What is Music City and just how important is it to the music scene in the Bay Area? It's very important. Uh, San Francisco had a survey done and uh, a, a very large... Um, I would call it uh, a study, and uh, they paid $80,000 for the study. The study just pretty much said that the city of San Francisco is in deep need of uh, music. As a matter of fact, one of the recommendations was to build an epicenter, and we have built uh, the epicenter, yeah. you think. Yeah. Uh, it's five stories. Uh, two of the stories are student housing, hostel, and hotel, and then the other three stories are like one big, giant uh, MGM studio. So uh, it's like being in Hollywood. Every room is audio-visually recorded. There are 20 studios that are plug and play. Uh, we have uh, five venues in the basement, one big venue upstairs, and laced through it is the San Francisco Music Hall of Fame with famous guys like this guy next to me. Yes, and Will, you are rehearsing right now at this incredible facility. Tell me about your experience in there, your experience there, and also what performance you have coming up. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. It's a fantastic facility. I am staying there, rehearsing there, and performing there. So it, this venue allows me, us all there to create music, practice, rehearse, go around music, and you reside, you crash there, you sleep there, and you get up in the morning, get back to work. And I'm performing this Friday with a project called Cuban Trance. So for those who are in the area, you want to come by and hear some New York slash San Francisco based electronic ambient love music, come by and see us uh, at 8 p.m. at Music City. Why do you think that Music City um, is so important to the um, music scene here in the Bay Area? Well, the Bay Area has an incredible history of fantastic, brilliant musicians and great music. And the scenes have kind of dissipated slightly due to COVID and other things. And I think Music City is a great spark to inspire young people as well to come in with their instruments, practice, rehearse, take lessons. We need that in this industry. Technology is fantastic, and this is definitely the area for technology, but the academics of picking up a guitar or a bass, writing songs, jamming with your friends, your parents can come by for the younger ones. For the older ones, you can rehearse as long as you need to rehearse and play rock and roll and funk and blues, whatever you want to do. There's vocal uh, projects there as well. I think it's a great idea to bring young people together to play physically play the instruments and not get so much caught on the technology side. Yeah, Rudy, and I know that, uh, you know, passing all of the information on to the next generation is so important to you. And, and how is your recent partnership going to help the next generation in terms of coming up in the music industry? This is, this is a really a great, great topic because this is how it, this is how, this is the first time in history, and correct me if I'm wrong, that a label MI5, Virgin, and Universal have a designated spot that has literally six venues that you can rehearse and you can play at, and you are being seen by the label. So uh, it has never happened before. Yeah. So you can call us a landing pad for artists and a launching pad for, uh, for Universal. All right, I want to talk a little bit about what you guys have coming up soon because I know you have some great things in the pipeline. So, Rudy, I'll start with you. Thursday night, Rudy Colombini on stage, 7 p.m., opening up for The Avengers. The Avengers, a uh, classic punk band from San Francisco, uh, ragged, challenging, uh, sons of dead Kennedys. So, what are you going to be giving everyone when you're this on is that Thursday. stage? Well, yeah, I just like, I, I pose. <laughs> uh, 
no, no. You're going to be given a lot of your heart out there. I know that you're going to bring bring the show, bring the house down. I do. I'm going to open up with Message of Love, my new single. Amazing. Of course. And where can people find that? Uh, you, you, right now, it's on YouTube. Uh, it'll be released, re-released again by Universal uh, April 15th. Looking forward to that. Okay, Thank and you. Will, what about you? Me, this Friday, as you know, Cuban Trance. I am the drummer with Living Color. Living Color is in the studio making a new recording at the moment, so we will be back in town in San Francisco for certain uh, later this year and early next year to continue touring and doing some new music, so I'm looking forward to it. I love that. You point. guys, I have one more question before I let you go for both of you. You guys are legends uh, in your own right in, in music. And so what message do you have um, for anyone out there that is maybe, you know, has, has the gene, has the bug, and wants to succeed in this industry and do well? What, do you, what message do you have for them? Music is love. Music is love because it's a frequency. It's these frequencies that are dancing beautiful, beautifully on each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what we do as people. We're harmonizing. We're harmonizing right now. Yes. God is right in between us. I love that. Same with frequencies. Will, what about you? My response is why not? Why not? Why not? If you're feeling it, do it. Now's the time to, we need it, certainly in the universe, the positive energy, the great sounds, the environments and sounds and frequencies that you mentioned that inspire us to do really positive things. And we have, I think, somewhat of a responsibility from our parents and grandparents and ancestors to carry on this art in a way that we can share it with other people. Music is therapy. I mean, it goes, it goes well with, with churches and spirituality. Uh, it's fantastic. Healing. I'm a drummer, so I know it's a you have healing. You have yep. I'm a singer. Yeah. It's yeah. love yeah, and it's back. healing. We're going <laughs> to end it on that. I want to thank you both for bringing your beautiful frequencies to the couch today and sharing your love with uh, me and Live in the Bay. Pleasure. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having thank us. You.